would you say the secret is for you and Garth? Garth pretty much just does whatever I say, so. <laughs> you and your wife, Blake, love to troll each other and clap uh, back best, on Instagram. It's become best. sport. Oh, yeah. Right. right? Yeah, we do once in a while. We sure. always tease each other. He was, he was, you know, after I gave birth, he was like, oh my gosh, you know, if I lost you and I, you know, went to the park with our three kids, I mean, think of the ladies I can have. <laughs> I don't know what the secret is. Uh, well, I'll tell you this. Um, we went to therapy early on. Well, in addition to therapy, because yeah. I, I, it's a it's a great uh, formula. Our sex life. Thank you for bringing that. <laughs> <laughs> also very healthy. People really like, oh my God, you guys are so amazing. How do you do it? And, you know, I literally had one guy say to me, if you guys broke up, God would crack open the planet and suck LA right in. I fell in love with Mark the day I met him. I think we have the first meeting. This is the screen test. Smell a lion mile away. <laughs> okay, now there's the bad lies and, you know, the lies you tell to cheat somebody, and then, you know, there's the little white lies. They're the worst ones. Because people believe them, and then someone always gets hurt. Did you know? She said she knew. I don't what? think I had a chance with this one. I'm, I'm happy with the it's way it turned, turned out. out well. Is Nicole uh, always your inspiration? Do you consult her ever before you sing about her? Because she said that she's sometimes your muse. I'm going to write about what I know, and I know that. Camilla, she's the one that before we even had kids, she goes, OK, here's the deal. When you go, we go. I paused for a second, <laughs> thinking, like, well, how am I going to do that? Family, I always go do it. Like, yes, ma'am. We legit enjoy each other yeah. in a way that's probably not healthy for us. We're like junior high school best friends where you like sync your schedules, and if one person's like sick, you're like, <gasps> I don't want to go to school today. Like, yeah. we're, I we understand just, we the just feeling. Kind of, we always talk about being equally yoked. I think when you're equally yoked with someone, that's more than half the battle in life. The most important thing is to be able to really find a partnership, and I feel like that's what I found. So it's really nice um, to have someone who's always in your corner and sort of pushes you to be the best version of yourself. This is a movie that your now wife starred in before you were married to her, that you mm -hmm. watched Devil Wears Prada 70-something times? Yeah. I mean, if I'm going to be really honest, yes. The answer yeah. is yes. Before you met her? Yeah. So this is just a lesson to all people. If you want to marry the woman of your dreams, just be a creep. <laughs>